Okay, this question states the following. Some polymers are created via condensation reactions wherein two reagents react to form the polymer of interest and water as a byproduct, hence condensation. Consider the reaction of 1,000 grams of hexamethylene diamine with adipic acid to form nylon 66, a pretty important polymer. If all the hexamethylene diamine reacts with 100% efficiency, how many grams of water will be given off? So in a question like this, we're told that it's 100% efficiency. And we're also told how much of one starting material there is, but we aren't told the amount of the other starting material. Since we're not told, and we're told that it's 100% efficiency, we can assume that there's excess adipic acid, or just the right amount. That means all we need to do is figure out how much hexamethylene diamine is required for every amount of water that's created. So let's take a look at this diagram here. This diagram shows hexamethylene diamine, which has this uh, six carbon long chain with nitrogens on the end. That's combining with the adipic acid. And you can see they've outlined right here the 1H, the 2H, and the 1O. That's where the water is going to be coming from. When these things bond with one another, these things come off as water. Therefore, for every one hexamethylene diamine and one adipic acid molecule, you will form one molecule of nylon 66. And again, it gets its name by the fact that it has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons there. And then on this part of the chain, it also has six carbons. So the short name, they call it nylon 66 because of these. Um, it gives off one mole of nylon 66, and every, for, for every one mole of hexamethylene diamine, you get one mole of water. So to solve this question, all we really need to do is figure out how many moles of hexamethylene diamine we start with. That will be the same number of moles of water that we create. Once we know the number of moles, we can easily turn that into a mass. So let's go ahead and do so. We start out with 1,000 grams of hexamethylene diamine. How many moles is that? Well, we need to figure out the molecular mass, right? If we divide that by the molecular mass, since that will be in grams per mole, that will give us the number of moles. So what's the molecular mass? Well, we can count it up. There's six carbon, there's two nitrogen, and there are 16 hydrogen. When you add up all those, remembering that carbon has 12.01 grams per mole, Nitrogen has 14, 14.006 grams per mole, and hydrogen has 1.00794 grams per mole. This all together means that its molecular weight is equal to 116 grams per mole, about. So let's go ahead and plug in 116 grams per mole. This means that we have 8.62 moles of our hexamethylene diamine to start with. Now that we know that, we know that we have the same amount of water that's being generated, so all we need to do is figure out how many moles of water, or how many grams of moles, grams of water correspond to 8.62 moles of water. That's easy enough to do. We can just write that 8.62 moles is going to be multiplied by the molecular weight of water. Water's easier. It's just two hydrogens and one oxygen, so it's going to be 15 0.999 plus 1.0079. That's going to be the amount of grams we have per mole of water. Our moles cancel and we're left with mass, which when we plug it in is just equal to 155.29 grams of water. That's how much water is created from this reaction.